The resort began as a nine hole golf course back in 1971. And in 1990, we went to 18 holes, added lodging in 91, 92, and uh, started doing the elk viewing sleigh ride dinners in uh, 1991. We would have guests ask us about going out to find elk in the wild, and when they did, we we're very happy to get out a couple of county maps and a magic marker and send them off towards the west, northwest, towards the Pigeon River country. But we found us more often than not, they'd be back three, three and a half hours later with a very dirty, dusty car and no elk. And uh, it's a long time between our last golfer in the fall and the first ones in the spring. And wondered if we could entice people to come back and visit with us in the winter, if we could just about guarantee them that we could show them some of those wild elk. When we started it, we did the similar thing with the wild herd, uh, which is located about 20 miles west of here. We put out hay and potatoes and we uh, had a feed pile for them so they'd stick around and we'd take the people out and we'd uh, see Michigan's wild elk herd. And viewing Michigan's elk was a fantastic idea, until... Then the tuberculosis and the deer herd issue came along and that's the point at which we had to either uh, stop doing this entirely or, or become elk ranchers. So we uh, enjoyed it so much we really didn't want to give it up so we, uh, we took the initial investment and, uh, and became elk ranchers. But Jack Mathias is much more than an elk rancher. He's an innovator and he's managed to turn his elk ranch slash sleigh ride into a renowned national attraction. We were honored recently uh, and selected as one of the 10 best sleigh rides in, in North America. That's actually the second time that's happened for us and uh, it's kind of neat and all of the other folks who do it tend to be either out in the Rockies or New England. Uh, uh, we're the only one that we're aware of in the Midwest that does anything that involves elk viewing and a sleigh ride and, and a car made dinner. Uh, this team is a Percheron team, Dapple Gray. Percherons come both Dapple Gray, and uh, you'll have some other uh, views of a black team of Percheron. They can be either. They're 18-hand horses, as big as the Clydesdales that people are familiar with, uh, bigger than some. The diffused, pillowy white landscape and the jingling of the harnesses on the lumbering dapple gray Percheron draft horses sets the mood. a sleigh ride or a carriage ride through the golf course here in the summer it's you know pretty white in the fall uh, we've got lots of uh, maple and oak trees so it's pretty colorful we do it year-round along the one-hour journey through the backwoods and trails you'll learn about elk and their tie to Michigan's landscape the elk were native in Michigan up until the late 1800s and they were hunted to extinction here in Michigan and in 1918, they transplanted seven elk from Yellowstone National Park here in the Pigeon River State Forest. And that's where the present day wild herd originated from. And they try to keep the wild herd around 900 animals. Now here at the resort, we have 135 elk and they're fenced in in different areas for their own protection. The sleigh rides go year around. And depending on the time of year you go, you may actually get to see these massive creatures prove their dominance. Uh, during the rutting period, they're extremely aggressive, these bulls. And in the seven years previous to this year, we lost 14 bulls from, from fighting and goring one another to death. With all of this in mind, it's important to know that safety is always in the forefront. We're very, very safety conscious. We've done this for 15 years and uh, uh, probably 60,000 people. We've never had an injury. Um, the animals uh, are behind fences. Uh, we will go in with the cows and calves. And in the summertime when the bulls are in velvet and they're quite docile, we'll go in with the bulls as well. But once they're in hard antler, uh, 
we will typically not uh, not be in with them. Uh, they're not predators, but uh, here they're somewhat territorial and there's not much uh, sense in taking a chance on something like that. When we come back, we'll take you closer to the elk and learn more about them as a species. I am, I am a Michigan man. And then we'll head to the Antler Lodge. Perch are dandy, but ginger brandy. And show you how to top off a perfect evening. When I remember those ice fishing things, I can't wait to drop a line. 